it, do it, do it. What is that from? You can do it with your back and do it. I can do it, put your ass into it. We kind of did that backwards. Yeah. The lady and yeah. Hey, it's Megan and Sue in the restricted section. And today we are going to do the 50 questions you have never been asked tag. Yeah, and we saw Hannah from the Dyslexic Reader do this tag, but we were um, not tagged from any. Yeah, we weren't tagged that we know of, and also we're not really sure who did the tag originally. Right. So we'll tag. We'll mention Hannah's video down below, and if you guys know who did the original tag, please link their video. Yeah. Because we're not or, sure. Yeah. Please let or us just know. Let us know, and, and, we'll, us know link and we'll link yeah. it. Yeah. Because we're not. We're not sure. Yeah. And we're drinking this really weird beer that might be terrible. <laughs> it might be awful. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. We're going to find out together. <laughs> we'll learn together. But it's called the Double Toasted Marsh Marshmallow Double IPA. Woo! It's a Toasted Marshmallow IPA, which sounds pretty gross, but I had to try it. Well, yeah. And it's from Decadent Ales, which is in uh, Dorchester. It's from... Wait... Decadent Ales, it says. It's in New York, But it's I think. from Brewed and Canned by Dorchester Brewing Company, Boston, Mass. Oh. Um, and it is brewed with turbinado. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Coconut, muscovado sugars, and Madagascar vanilla beans. They had another one that actually sounded better, but they didn't have it in the single cans. Oh. And I didn't want to commit to a four pack. Fair. Um, so I got this one. But... Let's try it. We have it. We have it We're here. We're sharing one can because who knows how this is going to go. That is straight sugar. It's really sweet. It's so weird though. It's not bad. I don't hate it. It is really much sweeter than I anticipated though. That's really sweet. It is really sweet. But it's like, it's so weird because it's like really sweet. It does taste like a marshmallow. But then it also tastes like an IPA. It's really weird. But it has a very sugary like, ah, aftertaste even. I have locked jaw. It's really sugary. Do you want me to drink yours? Uh -huh. I mean, you can drink something else. Yeah. I'm going to go get another beer. <laughs> so let's get into this tag. There's 50 questions and there's two of us. So let's roll. that's a lot. Let's do it. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? I don't know. Um, I'm going to say, who do I wish was my sister? I don't care about celebrities. Um, uh, Rachel Maddow. Oh. oh, I'm going to say Felicia Day. Okay. Oh, that was the second question. Oh, that was the second. What was the first question? Number one, what's your favorite candle scent? Um, sandalwood. Mm, my favorite scent anyway. I love yeah. sandalwood scent. I don't know. I don't really have one. I used to have an old books candle and that one was really nice. So what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Benedict Cumberbatch. Ugh. I was going to say Misha Collins, but really I wish he was my lover. So that would be awkward. Yeah. So I picked Benedict um, Cumberbatch because I don't, I mean, he's cool, but I don't want to fuck him. You don't want to fuck him. No. Um, can I just say same? <laughs> yeah. He can be our brother. Same Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, number four, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Um, I'm probably never going to get married, so. Which time? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been married twice. Um, I got married the first time when I was 21, and I got married the best time when I was 28, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Do you know someone who is a hoarder? Yes. I don't think I know anyone who's like a legit hoarder, but I know some people who are borderline hoarders. Like they could get there. I've worked with someone, like a, a client in the past who they Ooh, were a hoarder. You know, I worked with someone who might have been a hoarder from the, from the way he talked. He used to save boxes if he thought they were like cool boxes, like empty oh. box, cardboard boxes. He'd be like, this is a nice box. I keep take that. this home with me. Mom and I'm like, why? Why though? But why though? And he'd always be like, when I get my apartment clean, you should come over and that never happened. Mm. Number six, can you do the splits? Hell no. Fuck you no. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, how old were you when you learned to ride a bike? I don't remember, but I remember my dad and my stepdad both taught me 
and my dad and I were practicing and I drove my bike into a bush mm. and my stepdad had to help me because my bike at my mom's house was too big for me because they we were, we were poor so they just wanted to buy one bike so mm -hmm. they bought it like right. big size right and so, so you could grow into it right but I couldn't really ride it because it was right. too big so he had to hold it for me um, I don't really remember either, but I remember that I had to use, I never had my own bike. I used my sister's hand-me-down bike and it didn't have training wheels on it. So I learned to ride a two wheel bike <laughs> and I taught myself. Nice. And, um, my mom loves to tell the story of how she was like her story of how I just would persevere. But my mom always tells the story of when I was like, had been learning to ride my bike. We live on a dirt road, so I was doing it on a dirt road. Mm -hmm. So when I fall, I'd scrape in the gravel, and I was right. like covered in scrapes from head to toe because I kept falling sand. off my bike. Right. And I asked mom after like lunch or whatever, I was like, "Can I go out and ride my bike again?" And she was like, "Do I want to break?" Like, and I was like, "No, I want to get good." Oh, <laughs> so my mom always tells that story of how I was covered in scrapes and just kept going. How many oceans have you swam in? Just one, I guess. Well, I've swam in the Atlantic and, and the Gulf of Mexico, which is, I, I guess, still the Atlantic-ish. Same. So two? One and a half? One and a half. How many countries have I visited? Um, other than the United States? Mm -hmm. Zero. Um, two. I visited, well, three, because I visited Mexico, Spain, and then technically the, um, what, the UK, because I visited the Rock of Gibraltar, so oh. it's a UK property. Oh. Uh, is anyone in your family in the army? No, my uncle was kicked out of the navy. Oh. I don't think it was. I don't think anyone in my family is in the army. I don't think so. No? Not that I know of. What would you name your daughter if you had one? Marianne. <laughs> I would name mine Lily. That's my cat's name. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to name my, like, if I had a daughter, I wanted to name her Lily, too, because um, I like the name, and also my name, Susan, means uh, graceful Lily in Aww. Hebrew. So it would be like I was naming her after myself. <laughs> That's kind of, I like that. That's kind of cool. I mean, men name but their I'm, sons after them, yeah. so why can't you name your yeah. daughter? But I'm probably never going to have a kid, um, so I named my cat Lily. Actually, my boyfriend named her, but whatever. But I also like the name Marianne, and I think the reason I like it is because of Alice in Wonderland, because the oh, white yeah. rabbit calls her Marianne, Marianne when he first meets her. Um, I would, okay, so what would you name your son if you had one? I, I honestly have no idea on that one. I would name my son Michael after my brother. Mm. Maybe, Probably maybe David after my dad. Or Jeremiah after presumably his, its father. Presumably <laughs> its father. I would name mine Michael... Probably Michael Allen. Because Allen is my dad's name. Murphy. Or Michael We're Dean. We're trying to do a thing here. Murphy. What's what the worst grade you got on a test? D. Um, I actually failed a test once in high school because there was a back page and I didn't know it. <laughs> so I didn't do the entire back page. And I wasn't the only one in class who did that. So I don't know why none of us, like, there were several of us who didn't do the back page and she didn't let us make it mm -hmm. up. That's weird. She was like, sorry about Fuck you. you, you failed. But I still got an A in that class. <laughs> um, I got a D on a theology test and I'm okay with that. Um, what was your favorite TV show as a kid? Ooh. Um, I had, I had a few, I think. Um, I loved Hey Arnold, and I loved Rugrats. I didn't watch and I loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I loved, um, my two favorites were probably Batman the Animated Series and The Simpsons. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? <laughs> Nothing, because my parents didn't let me, uh, celebrate Halloween. I don't, so. when I was eight? I don't remember. Um, I'm trying to remember when I was eight. Maybe an M&M? &M. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all my Halloween costumes. Because we got to dress up as whatever we wanted as long as it wasn't evil. 
<laughs> and so, or scary. So, like, I never could That's the point of Halloween. Come well, on. I dressed up as a witch when I was, like, little, little, but it was a really adorable witch. Mm -hmm. And, but I couldn't dress up as, like, a zombie or anything mm -hmm. creepy. So, maybe, like, an angel or... My mom was weird. I, I feel like my mom really just didn't want to take us trick-or-treating, but she was like, Halloween is the devil's. Like, she, she wouldn't let us do Halloween. So I never... The first time I went trick-or-treating, I was like 14, I think. Oh, wow. And I went with... Um, my best friend was taking her little brother, and so we took him trick-or-treating, and we dressed up too and got candy. <laughs> nice. um, have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? I have read all of the Harry Potter series and all of the Twilight series. I have not read the Hunger Games. I have read all of Harry Potter and all of the Hunger Games, but not the Twilight series. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? British. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> I would rather have a British accent. I'm not like a thousand percent proud to be an American. No, I mean... Recently, especially. I mean, just in general, America's pretty terrible. Yeah, our, 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 country, <laughs> our country's history is horrendous. Pretty terrible. Um, did your mom go to university? No, no, she did not. Nope, neither Patty did. <laughs> no, Patty's didn't go to university. Patty's didn't go. Um, are your grandparents still married? Yes. Yes, but, I mean, both of my grandpas are dead and one of my grandmas are dead so um one of my grandmas <laughs> is dead and one of my i have three sets because i have a stepdad so one of my grandpas is dead and one of my grandmas is dead and then one they of, were still married at the time of, of deaths of deaths though yes um thanks for the depressing question thank you yes <laughs> Have you ever taken karate lessons no do you know who kermit the frog is you didn't answer no also no I do know who Kermit the Frog is. Stains. Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> um, what's the first amusement park you've been to? Probably Silver Dollar City, which is an amusement park in Branson, Missouri. Mine is Six Flags. Oh, oh I forgot you were from Michigan. I, <laughs> I was like, Michigan. oh, you drove a long way for that. I was like, you weren't anywhere near Silver Dollar City when you were a kid. I, I'm from Michigan. <laughs> I've actually never been to Six Flags. Um, I... Or no, not Six Flags. I'm just kidding. Cedar Point. Oh, that's the big ass one, right? Cedar Point. Yeah, it's in Ohio. Cause that's I'm from Michigan, so no. Cedar Point is where the person I was I was to because I actually worked there to raise money for a youth youth group trip. <laughs> sure did. I sold French fries. You sold French fries. Sure did. Why do you two always play while we're filming? <laughs> Cause it's cute. So what language, beside your native language, would you like to be fluent in? Oh, probably Spanish, because I think it would be the most useful. Mm -hmm. Definitely Spanish, because my husband's family uh, lives in Spain, and when I went there the last time, I could not communicate with them as well as I would like to, which is not at all. Right. And <laughs> so definitely Spanish. His grandma or hit actually, me with her chancla you know because what? I could not talk to her. I changed my mind because for me, the most useful language would actually be Chinese. It would be. Because everyone I work for is Chinese. Chinese. How do you spell the color gray? G-R-A-Y. I spell it G-R-E-Y. You're wrong! Well, <laughs> suck my dick. Is your dad bald? Uh, he's getting there. He's not fully bald, but um, he's balding. Mine has a perfect head of hair. Your dad does have a lot of hair. Oh, do you know triplets? I know of uh, uh, triplets. They were, my sisters know them, like we're friends with them. I don't. I have, my cousins are twins. And I have a couple friends who are twins, but that's it. Uh, do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Titanic. Titanic. The Notebook is a really abusive relationship, and if you base your relationship on that, you shouldn't. Although Titanic, like, we all know that they both could have fit, fit on that. They both could have fit on that They both could have fit on that fucking board. Right. We all know we that. We all know that. Like, you're trying to fake like they couldn't. Yeah, fuck you. Have you ever had Indian food? Yes. No. Really? Yeah. It's good. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? I don't know if I have one. I like Old Chicago a lot. I like their pizza. I don't really have a favorite restaurant. So whatever. I used to like Darpino's, but they closed down. Mm. That's a really good Italian place. I really like Bambino's. That's a local Italian place. Have you ever been to Nando's? I don't know what I that is. I have no idea what that is. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? I don't belong to anyone. <laughs> 
So like if you have a membership with Sam, yeah. is that what it means? No, no I, I don't. No, I don't. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I think my dad wanted to name me Billy. Like he wanted to name me that even though I was a girl. But I was like their last hope of having a boy because I'm the youngest of four girls. Oh. So my dad was in denial and still wanted to name me Billy, but um, I'm Susan. Christopher Suddenly Michael. Suddenly Susan. Um, they thought I was going to be a boy, so my name was supposed to be Christopher Michael. But surprise, I have a vagina. Surprise. If you have a nickname, what was it? Or what is it? I'm Sue, mostly. Susie. Um, my sister calls me Sudley Doo. I like Sudley Doo. <laughs> Megs. Peanut. Oh, my family actually a lot of time calls Sis. me Sis. Calls me Susu. Like my nieces and nephews call me Aunt Susu. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> yeah, mine is Sis, Peanut, or Megs. Uh, who's your favorite person in the world? My little brother. It's not me. <laughs> it is my little brother. I don't know who my favorite person in the world is. I like a lot of people. <laughs> I probably, honestly, I have three faves. I have tree favorites. Tree. Tree. It's my little brother. He's my top fave. Sorry, everyone else. And then you and Joey. I'll accept that. You're definitely in my top three as well. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather live in the countryside or the city? Country. Midway. I'm a country girl. Midway between. I'm just a country girl. Country girl at heart. <laughs> I sang that way off key. <laughs> Can you whistle? Yeah, but it's harder for me now with my piercings. I can't whistle. Oh yes, I can. I can't do the like the whistle or okay. the. My sister can do that. I can't do it. I can't do it. You sleep with a nightlight? No. Mostly no, but sometimes if my husband's not home, like if he's out working, I will sleep with my lamp on. I when I was a kid, I was like the opposite, and I, if there was any light at all in the room, I could not sleep. I had to have it like pitch dark in my mm. room. <laughs> now I'm not as picky, like if there's some light shining in, it's fine, but. Do you eat breakfast every morning? No. Yes. Unless you count coffee. Yeah. I eat breakfast every morning. Do you take any pills or medication daily? No. Uh, I was taking progesterone, but I just ran out and I have, <laughs> and I didn't renew it because I don't have health insurance right now. Oh no. <laughs> yes, I take medication daily. What medical condition do you have? Um, I have PCOS. I have depression. Thanks for another slash Fun anxiety. Question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> how many times have you been to the hospital? I don't fucking know. Uh, twice. I have been there. I mean, for myself, twice. A few times, because I've been there. Yeah, I was in a car accident once. I passed out once. Passed out. I passed out many times. I didn't go to the hospital. Well, I woke up. I passed out, and when I came to, I vomited on my mother, and so she took me to the hospital, and I was like severely dehydrated, and so they gave me some fluid. Which, by the way, do you know that hospitals in America charge ninety dollars per bag of saline? America sucks. <laughs> yes, it does. And then I also was at the hospital for my... It also um, cost $1,000 to take an ambulance ride. Yeah. Just FYI. Um, I also was at the hospital for my um, sapling had my had my tubes out. Had my tubes out. Oh. <laughs> my, my tubes Did out. You go, didn't you go to the hospital when you cut your toe off? Almost cut your toe off? Oh, yeah. So four times. I went to the emergency <laughs> room when I had mono because I was so ill. <laughs> Uh, my sisters took me to the emergency room, and then I also went to the hospital when I injured my back, which I regret because they did absolutely fucking literally nothing, Not and it cost thing. me a lot of fucking money. Not a bad thing. <laughs> um, have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yes. Yes. Where do you buy your jeans? I um, don't. Various places. I like Charlotte Russe. Um, I recently bought some jeans from Torrid, and I really like those, but. I only buy them on sale because tour is expensive. I don't. I haven't bought jeans in a long time because I have a hard time finding them that fit me because they're not long enough. So, I have that same problem, and I just roll them up and pretend they're capris. I, I need get to do that. I get skinny jeans and then just cuff them. I probably should do that. But in the winter, I mean, in the winter you can wear boots, so that's true. Um, what's the last compliment you got? 
Um, you told me that my dress was cute. Um, you told me that I looked sexy, and Joey told me that I looked sexy, and also Joey told me I was beautiful. Well, so, you got a lot more compliments than I did today. <laughs> Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Sometimes? Mm, sometimes, yeah. And sometimes I like remember them when I wake up and then they fade throughout the day. And by the end of the day, I'm Same. like, something with a... Melon. <laughs> yeah. What flavor tea do you enjoy? Um, kind of any flavor. I don't drink a lot of tea, but usually I'll just drink anything and I like it. <laughs> I love tea. Um, plain green tea, like not, I hate the flavored green teas. Like I just want plain ass motherfucking green tea. Mm. I do hate mm. sweet tea though. Oh, me too. I hate, I hate sweet, sweet tea. I mean, if it's like a flavored sweet tea, sometimes it's okay, but just like straight up sweet tea, mm. it's fucking disgusting. No, I, hate sweet I don't tea. understand why people like that. No, thank you. And if you're from the South, sorry, then fuck your sweet tea. <laughs> bye bye. I hate your sweet tea. So, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Who fucking knows? Several. Same. What religion would you raise your child to practice? None. None. No religion. Zero. I would raise my child to practice no religions, but I would, I would say them like, yeah, I would be like, chose you know, to. why don't you read about all these different religions, and learn right. about them, and choose which one you think would work for you, if any of if them any. would. How old were you when you found out Santa wasn't real? I don't really remember. I, I don't either. Say, and nobody, it wasn't like revealed to me, I just kind of like figured it out. Same, but I remember how I figured it out because Santa's handwriting and my dad's handwriting <laughs> were the same. And I asked my dad about it. We were in the car and I asked my dad about it and he told me Santa wasn't real and I did this. And I looked out the window for a long time. <laughs> when you find out your parents have been lying to you your whole life. Which is why I would encourage my kid to find their own religion. <laughs> I think that's the last question. Oh no, why do you have why do you have a blog? We don't. We don't. But we have, we a, have blog. a we have a channel because we like books. We like books and each other. Yeah. You're welcome. So that's it. Should we tag anyone? I mean, nobody tagged us. That was a gauntlet, was man. A, I feel like that wasn't 50 questions. Did we do them all? It was 50 questions. It was? Yeah, it was. Let's do an open tag. If you open see this tag. and want to do it, do it. Yeah, do it. Fucking hiccups. Oh, so, there'll be some links below where you can find us <laughs> other places on the internet. And if you're not already subscribed to the restricted section, please do. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.